Hello, my dear children. My name is Miss Elobeni, and I'll be taking science for grade one. The topic which I'm going to teach you today is different places to live. But before we proceed to the chapter, let us first try to learn the meanings. Because after learning the meanings, it will help you to understand the chapter more. The first one is different. What is the meaning of different? Different means not the same. The second is measure. Measure means to find, to find the size or amount for something. For example, land or time. Third is record. Record means to write or draw, photograph something that you have seen or happened. For example, you, you, you have got your assignment and your assignments are kept as a record. The fourth one is mini bees. Small animals like ants, spiders, bees, butterflies, and ladybirds. The fifth one is adapt. Adapt means to adjust. For example, when you are in the when you are in a new school or new environment, in the first phase you kind of feel like uncomfortable, but slowly you try to fit it. You slowly try to get adjusted in that environment. You get you fit in you fit in that environment. So that is called adapt. Sixth one is habitat. Habitat is a place where an organism live. Organism can be plants, fungi, or bacteria. Now let me ask you a simple question. Are you alive? I'm sure everyone is alive. How do you know? You can breathe, you can grow, you drink, you eat, you sleep, and you do many more things apart from that. So that means we all are living things. Human, plants, and animals are all living things. Even animals, they grow, they breathe, they eat. So they are also living things. So the most important thing that a living things need are air, water, food, shelter, sun. Animals and plants, they live in a different habitat. So let us try to learn about six natural habitat. The first one is polar region. Polar region is extremely cold and is covered with snow. Some animals found in polar region are polar bear, walrus, sea and penguins. Now you must be thinking that how can these animals survive in a cold weather? It is because of their thick feather, fur and fat. The next one is desert. Desert is a place which receives very less rainfall and it's covered, this region is covered with sand. Some animals found in desert are rattlesnake, camel, brown squirrel. These uh, animals, they, they hunt their food only at night. They used to stay underground, they used to stay underground during the day and used to hunt at night. Now you might, be, you might be wondering how do they get water since there is less water in the desert. They get water from the food, from the food they eat, from the succulent plants, the seed, they get it from the seed and from the food they hunt. Succulent plants and seeds. And the third one is rainforest. By looking at the word rainforest, I hope you have understood. Rainforest is a forest which receives lots of rain. It rains almost every day. That's why this place is covered, it's crowded with plants and animals. Some of the animals found in rainforest are monkey, jaguars, spiders, beetles. The fourth one is forest. Forest is a place covered with trees. Now, some animals found in forests are tiger, lion, leopard, deer, and so on. The fifth one is freshwater bodies. Freshwater bodies, ponds, lakes, rivers. Some organism found in this, or some organism animals found in this, freshwater bodies are shrimps, crab, frog, duck. The sixth one is salt water bodies, seas and ocean, which is very huge and salty. The uh, ocean is the largest habitat which exists on the earth. It is home to animals like whales, sharks, octopus, fish like starfish and jellyfish. Now let us 
summarize let us summarize what we have learned from this chapter the first one is living things depend on their habitat for survival the second is the six natural habitat that you can see over here on the board the third one is almost every place on earth from the hottest desert to the coldest region is a habitat for other kinds of plants and animals one habitat can be home for lots of different animals and plants and the last point is different plants and animals require different living situation to thrive thrive means grow or well develop for example goldfish needs fresh water while wells sea water that's all for today i hope you have understood well i'll see you in the next class till then take care and stay safe